Van Vleck is like many small 3A schools. Their athletes usually play multiple sports to help fill out rosters. However, as our Chevy Spotlight found out, one leopard runner isn't just participating in cross country, she's excelling at it. It takes a different type of person to get up every morning at 5.30 and brave the elements just to run. But Emily Schneider isn't any ordinary person. The Van Vleck cross country runner has the discipline, determination, and talent to do extraordinary things. And this past fall, she did just that. Schneider became the first ever leopard runner to qualify for state in cross country. It's been really cool because like cross country wouldn't always get that much recognition, but now like a lot of people are into it now and there's like been a lot of people telling me congratulations and stuff. So it's really cool to see how they like all like wanted to support me and stuff. Our community did little send-offs for her. Um, even the police department you made, made a post for, for her. And so just little things like that. It, it became neat for them to just keep up with her and know what's going on. And it was, it was big for our program. If you couldn't tell by her size, Emily is just a freshman. And she's already shown her coach, Rebecca Hansen, more dedication to the sport than anyone who has come through Van Vleck. As a matter of fact, the only thing that has kept Schneider off the track is a foot injury last spring. She was diagnosed with Severs disease and had to wear a boot during the summer. Schneider's running time suffered at first, but she stuck to it and gradually got better. She took the boot off and we started very gradually with her. Um, she wasn't very excited with that because Emily likes to go miles and miles. And when I told her she's only doing certain miles, she wasn't very happy, but she realized what it was for. It was hard because I wasn't like used to being that slow and I had to keep working and sometimes I get discouraged, but I eventually I got it back to my speed and then was able to get even faster. Like most athletes in small schools, Emily participates in other sports as well. She's on the volleyball team and she does cheerleading. Those two sports along with cross country all take place during the same season. So you can imagine the discipline it takes to juggle three sports and a demanding school schedule. She was that athlete that showed up, like I said, 5.30 in the morning. She would jump over and she would go to volleyball after school. There were some days that we needed to work certain type of workouts for cross country again. She would go, she would go half to volleyball, she would come half to cross country, and then she would leave straight from cross country and go to cheer. Cross country, volleyball, and cheer, it's all the same season, so it's just a lot of stuff during that time, and I'm tired, but I just have to keep doing it. Making it to state and posting a respectable 63rd place finish wasn't the only exciting thing to happen that weekend. Emily was also approached by a few small colleges that talked to her about running cross country at the next level. Even as a freshman, Emily has been someone the Van Vleck community has really looked up to. I want our team, like I want them to keep working and so hopefully we can qualify for regionals and stuff as a team. And I don't want it to just be like one or two people going, I want us all to go. I've already had kids and parents email me, when does cross country season start? We're looking forward to, to our kids joining the team. And I, I feel like that's been a lot of help with Emily um, being a part of our program. She's, she's encouraged and she showed others that, you know, you can do it and you can go out and, and set your goal forward and make something happen. The Chevy Spotlight is brought to you by the Houston area Chevy dealers. Visit your nearest Chevy dealer and test drive our award winning products.